Welcome to Cabramatta, Sydney. Cabramatta is one of the best places for cheap eats in Sydney. In this Sydney food vlog, we'll share the top dishes you must try in Cabramatta. Cabramatta is in southwest Sydney, about 30 kilometres from Sydney city centre. It's also known as Little Saigon due to its large Vietnamese Australian community. Yeah, so it's a great place to get Vietnamese food. It's also great for Cambodian food, Lao food, as well as vegetarian and vegan food. Well, I am loving the variety of food in Cabramatta. We're at Tung Bung restaurant, and this is a Vietnamese pancake. It's also known as Bang Xiao. So it's beautiful golden color, and inside it's got pork, and it's got prawns, and bean sprouts as well. Ah, oh, so it's just steaming hot. And it didn't take too long to come out, so it's really nicely, freshly prepared as well. And I can already feel that the pancake's nice and crispy. So we've been told to cut up the pancake and then roll it in all this nice salad. What I love about Vietnamese food is it comes with so many fresh herbs and vegetables. So you really feel like it's quite healthy, which is good. So let's... But, ooh, you can really hear the crunch of the pancakes, so that's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to just grab a bit of this pancake and get some veggies in there. Ooh, and there's some lettuce leaves, so grab some of that. Okay, so I've got a nice little bite of the pancake and I've wrapped it in some lettuce leaves and some herbs, dipped it in that special fish sauce. So let's see how it tastes. So the pancakes are really nice and thin and crispy and they give a good crunch, which is really satisfying. It contrasts nicely with the brightness of the salad and the tenderness of the pork. Now the prawns are really juicy. There's a little bit of oiliness to the pancakes, which is quite nice as well. And I think the fish sauce really brings out the flavor. So all of this was $19. And so to have a dish with seafood in it for under $20 in Sydney is reasonably good value. most popular Vietnamese restaurants, Tong Lai. It's so popular that at nine o'clock on a weekday, we had to put our names down in order to get a seat. Ah, thank you. Great, thanks. This is the most popular dish, which is a special pork chop with broken rice, or it's also known as Kong Duk Bet. I hope I got that right. So yeah, that came out. I ordered probably two minutes ago and it's come out so quick. Awesome. It comes with what looks as noodles but isn't. So this is actually pork skin. They cut it so finely is it, if it is actually noodles, but it's not. And you also get a, a pork cake. So this is egg and pork and there's even crab meat in here as well. And so in addition, you've got an egg, you've got the, the pork itself. And there's a few vegetables as well. So you've got cucumber, carrot, and shallots. I'll just try some of the pork skin first. Mm. So it's quite lightly seasoned. It's salty. And yeah, there's a gelatinous taste to the noodles. That's really interesting. Mm. Oh, that's really interesting. It's just, if the pork's a little bit caramelized, there's a slight sweetness to the, the pork and, and some light seasoning so it's really delicious. Now finally I'll try the, the pork cake. Mm. It's like an omelette in a way, a savoury omelette. Oh, and you can definitely taste the crab in there as well. So all these really interesting elements make it very easy to see why it's so popular. Bay has the best pho in Cabramatta and we have the pho beef special noodle soup. So this looks absolutely delicious. 
it's got quite a few different cuts of meat. It's got rare beef, brisket, tendons, beef balls, and beef fibre. It comes with some fresh herbs and bean shoots, and it's steaming hot. This was $19. And we've also got a bit of a squeeze of lime. And we've got some poison sauce as well as some chili sauce. So just a bit of extra flavor. Pho is the most popular soup in Vietnam. It's kind of considered the national dish, I believe. And so it's a really beautiful broth, noodles, bits of meat as well and oh uh, yeah this just looks so delicious so let's give it a try mm. yeah so the broth has a really rich complex flavor to it so it's quite salty it's got a bit of aniseed in it and they cook it overnight so they start for the afternoon before and keep cook it all through the night so that the flavors really develop so they give you a few different sauces to have it with as well. We've got hoisin and sriracha with it. And I like how the sriracha gives it a bit of spice. The different types of meat give it really interesting flavors and textures. The tripe is quite chewy. And then you've got the rare beef, which is really soft and tender. And then there's beef balls as well, which I think are really delicious. So overall, this is a really beautiful dish. It's $19. If you're looking for a caffeine fix, make sure you come to Cafe No. So we've got their Vietnamese iced coffee, also known as Cafe Suda. So it was $5 and we've got the small one. What Vietnamese coffee is, is coffee, there's a fair bit of ice in there, and you also have sweetened condensed milk drizzled all the way through. So that's going to be an interesting taste and texture. Well, okay. So that coffee really hits you to begin with, so it's quite an intense taste. And oh, the sweetness of the sweetened condensed milk makes it quite interesting as well. Oh yeah, this is really delicious, and you're definitely gonna get your caffeine hit here. Next on our Sydney food tour, we're at Food Cock in Cabramatta. Now we've ordered the combination Steam rice noodles, DIY, rice paper rolls. Wow, that's a mouthful, and I'm sure this is too. So, we've got a lot of stuff here. It was $32 in total. So, we've got the rice paper rolls that you're gonna make yourself, that'll be fun. We've got the sugar cane prawn, we've got a fried spring roll, we've got three different types of pork here too, and of course the steam rice noodles. And to accompany it all, we have all these fresh herbs and vegetables. Okay, let's see how good I am at making this. So, you take your rice paper roll, so you've got to dip it really quickly, just... Okay, now I'm in a race against time. Put it down here. Now, what am I gonna try out? Just gonna use my hands. I really like the tactile experience of making rice paper rolls. I'll try, yeah, I'll try, try some of this pork first. I have a habit of overstuffing my rolls, so I'm sure I'm doing it now. I'll put some veggies as well. Get a, have some lettuce too. Now, oh, I should have some, I should just put some sauce in it as well. I think this is hoisin sauce. Put a little bit of hoisin sauce. And I do like my hot sauce, so I believe this is sriracha. Do that. Oof. Okay, now I've got to roll it up. So I'm going to do that. Don't know. Now. Ah. Okay. Tie it up. Okay. So, not a bad first attempt. Not the best, but not bad. Uh, and then finally, you dip it in this sauce. I think it's a fish sauce. Can find out soon. Mm. So good. Wow, there's such a burst of flavor in those spring rolls. So there's the savoriness of the meat, 
If you have the hoisin, it creates a sweet peanutty taste as well. And then finally, the sriracha, that gives a little bit of heat to just create an absolute explosion of flavor in your mouth. It's such a simple yet really effective dish. Thirsty in Cabramatta, well make sure you go to one of the many bubble tea houses here. We've gone to our tea house. Now they're quite new, they're only six months old, but they've got amazing reviews on Google and they've got an average rating of five, and you can't get much better than that. We've gone with the honeydew tea and we've chosen an add-on of coconut jellies. Mm. Mm. So oh this is really sweet. And you can really taste the honeydew. The coconut jellies just go so well with it. Ah, oh, yeah, this is really, really delicious. And there's just so many different teas you can go for. There's milk teas, there's a lot of different iced coffees as well. So you can get the Vietnamese coconut iced coffee. That looks amazing too. So if you're after a great value delicious bubble tea, make sure you come to our tea house. We didn't have space for it this time, but we highly recommend Butcher's Buffet. It's a Korean style buffet restaurant. They've got chains all over the place. We went to the one in Sydney's Chinatown and it was absolutely delicious. Cabramatta was named after the original custodians of the land, the Cabrigal people from Darug Nation. Now Cabramatta is the Aboriginal word for freshwater grub meeting place. is the best restaurant in Cabramatta according to TripAdvisor and they're all about crispy skin chicken. So you can get it with egg noodles, rice noodles or tomato rice. We got it with tomato rice so it was $19 for all of this plus the soup and the sauce. So this looks really good and you can just tell that the skin looks so crispy. So I've got a beautiful little bite there with the chicken and the tomato rice and I'm just going to dip it into the sauce. Mm. So that chicken is really tender and juicy and that skin's got a beautiful amount of salt on it and crispiness. It's a really savoury dish. The tomato rice works really well with it as well. Mm. The tomato rice has quite a mild flavour. Don't really taste too much of the tomato. It was something different, so I'm glad I gave it a go, but I think I'd probably prefer the egg noodles. But it is really all about that crispy skin, and it's a really hearty meal, very satisfying. We're in the heart of Cabramatta in Freedom Plaza. So this is a bustling area with a lot of shops and restaurants and it's right next to the shopping street in Cabramatta which is John Street. For the best cheap eats in Sydney, come to Red Lee in Cabramatta. It is an institution in Cabramatta famous for its hot chips, which come with chicken salt and paprika. So a winning combination, and it has been here for years and years and years. All the locals know about it. And this is my first time trying Red Lee hot chips. Oh yeah. So these are really perfectly cooked. They're crunchy on the outside and then on the inside it's just really soft and pillowy. And it's really all about that paprika and the chicken salt. So if you haven't heard of chicken salt, it is something that is a must have on your hot chips or fries in Australia. I think it's also popular in New Zealand as well but I haven't had the paprika chicken salt combination before and it's a real winner. So it's 4 dollars for the small size. Now the small size isn't huge, so I wouldn't say it's excellent value. If you just want to fill a hole and get something cheap, it's a pretty good option. 
We thought it was impossible to find food for a dollar in Sydney, but we've been extremely lucky and we found this banana fritter. So we found this at Case and Sweets in Freedom Plaza in Cabramatta. This looks so good. So it's just been deep fried in a batter. And I think there's sesame seeds in the batter. Yeah, it looks really tempting. Oh, oh it's so yum. Mm. So good. This is just decadent. There's a crispy outer casing of that batter, but you bite through and it's just really smooth and creamy and so sweet, that banana on the inside. Ah, oh, this is such a fantastic dessert and an absolute steal for a dollar. This is a banh mi or a Vietnamese pork roll and we've got it from Tony's Bakery in Cabramatta. So I really like the look of this. It looks like it's a really fresh, crusty roll. The ingredients also look really fresh and tasty and the quality ingredients. So we've got pate, we've got different types of meat, pork in there, and we've got salads, coriander. So it's a beautiful looking roll for $8. Uh, so those ingredients work really harmoniously together. I really like the crunchiness of the bread roll. You can really taste the fresh salad ingredients, particularly the coriander. The chili gives it a great bit of bite and heat. And you've got the pate, which is really rich and creamy. So the pork works really well to give it a bit of saltiness and there's a good bit of mayonnaise in there so it's really nice and moist as well. So this is $8. So at $8 it's not the cheapest barn me in Sydney but we think it's excellent value and that's because the quality ingredients and the beautiful taste. In terms of the best pork roll in Cabramatta, I think it'd be a toss up between Tony's Bakery and Bernada's Hot Bread. So they're both pretty similar. I think Tony's probably edges out in terms of taste, but then Bernada's is 50 cents cheaper. I guess it really depends on if you want to save 50 cents or if you want a slightly better roll. But that's our opinion and we'd love to know what you think. So let us know in the comments, what's the best banh mi in Cabramatta? goodness you have to try the thing to do at ballet in Cabramatta. This just looks amazing. So we've seen bingsu in Malaysia before, but this is the first time I've seen it in Sydney. It's a beautiful Korean style dessert. It's got shaved ice and I love how this came on a bed of dry ice. It really was quite theatrical seeing it all smoking as it was brought towards us. So that was quite fun. And this dessert cafe restaurant is really plush so I really like the vibe in here um, it definitely looks very popular prices are a bit on the high side but I reckon it's worth it for the experience so there are a few different flavors of bingsu we got the mango one so this are uh, like you can really smell the mango straight away and I really love that vibrant orange color so let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, mm, that mango flavor is really intense. And this cream on top works really nicely with it to kind of just cut through the sharpness of the mango and really mellow it out. And then you've got, yeah, like the passion fruit seeds on there as well which is really nice and I really love it when you have edible flowers on desserts it's really nice touch as well and we've just been digging around in the bottom there and it's got a bed of boba as well some mango boba and if you're a fan of boba like me you'll definitely appreciate this textural element so the bingsu is $16.50 which is pretty expensive for a dessert. But given the size of it, the theatrics and the whole experience, I think it's well worth it. 
if you want to know how to get to Cabramatta, we recommend catching the train rather than driving because parking in Cabramatta is really, really bad. So to catch the train to Cabramatta from the city, it takes about an hour and it's a really comfortable ride. We've had an amazing day in Cabramatta. Uh, what have been some of your favourites, Jay? Oh, well, I loved the DIY rice paper rolls at Foodcock. They were absolutely brilliant and what a fun experience. And talking about fun experiences, I loved the Bing Su at Valet, just with the dry ice going everywhere and it was just such a tasty dessert. But for cheap eats, you really can't go past Quezon Sweets for their $1 banana fritters. Oh, they were just so beautiful. So if you're after cheap eats in Cabramatta, we recommend getting a banh mi first from Tony's Bakery, washing it down with a milk tea from our tea house, and then for dessert, having a banana fritter for $1. And if you're after a more upmarket experience in Cabramatta, maybe a date night, we recommend the DIY rice paper rolls from Foodcock, followed by dessert and drinks at Valet. We hope you enjoyed our Cabramatta food tour. What's your favourite food in Cabramatta? Let us know in the comments. We've got plenty more Sydney food and travel vlogs, as well as vlogs around the world. So if you're interested in this content, make sure you subscribe. We are Jay and John Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.